everyone and welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here then hi my name is Lauren and on my channel we mostly talk about anything luxury but we also discuss lifestyle and beauty so if you're interested in any of these topics please consider subscribing to my channel and we'll get started with the video So in today's video, I'll be presenting you my entire designer shoe collection. I'll be showing you boots, sneakers, flats, sandals, and more. It's going to be a very long video, so feel free to go grab coffee and tea. And if this video sounds interesting to you, then please keep on watching. So I was struggling a bit at first on how to organize this video. I actually counted and I have 20 pairs of shoes. I know that's like very many. Um, and so that's why I was struggling, but I finally decided to do it by type of shoes. So we'll go ahead and get started with boots. And the first pair of boots that I want to show you are these beauties. It's a pair of Stuart Weitzman Lowland boots in gray. I got them very recently. I actually unboxed them recently on my channel. So if you want to go ahead and see the unboxing of these babies, I will go ahead and leave the video link in the little information here. So you can go ahead and see that. Um, they are very, very comfortable. They're not my first pair of Stuart Weitzman boots. They're very comfy. These are very much so the type of shoes that I could walk in all day. Um, I actually really love them. I think that they're very durable. Um, I spray them with um, a spray and then after that, these are the type of, of boots that you really don't have to worry about for the next at least three or four years. So it's really nice. I actually got them at the outlets, which makes me feel even better about them because I got them for about half the price which is really nice. I think the um, actual retail is around 800 um, and I got them for half. So yeah, I feel really good about them. I love them. And so I hope that you do too. I will show you mud shots and try ons right now. twins so we won't spend that much time talking about them but as you can see these are another pair of Stuart Weitzman Lowland boots this time in black I actually got this pair first um, this is my first ever pair of Stuart Weitzman boots and I mean from the moment I put them on I absolutely love them I wore these so many times and as you can see I still feel like the condition is pretty good so yeah it's just a matter of protecting them with a stain um, protector and then that's about it really. Um, I love them. I feel like they're super comfy. Um, they kind of dress up any type of outfit. They can be easily transitioned from day to night, which is always very practical. And of course, as they are black, they go with pretty much any color, any outfit for about any season. These are the types of boots that I would wear in the fall, winter, and even spring as well. So next up we have this beautiful Louis Vuitton Wonderland flat ranger boots in monogram. Those I have to say are my favorite shoes out of my entire collection. I absolutely love them. And perhaps it's also because these are the newest ones. These are the ones that I got the most recently. Um, so I've also unboxed them on my channel. So if you want to go ahead and see the unboxing of these little beauties, I will go ahead and leave the video in the little information link over there for you to see it. But um, just like the Stuart Weitzman ones, they're very comfortable. I can walk with them all day. I was a little bit concerned at first and I think that I spent about one or two days kind of breaking them in in my apartment. Um, but other than that, they're very comfortable. They go with any type of outfit. I love the fact that they don't have that big of a heel. And as you can see um, from the Stuart Weinsman's and then these ones, this is kind of a common theme for me as I'm 5'11 or 180 centimeters. I definitely go ahead and search for boots that don't have heels. Heels are a type of shoes that you will never see um, in my entire designer shoe collection simply because I find myself a little bit too tall for these. 
But yeah, here um, the heel is about, I would say, two centimeters, which is still not too bad. And then the low lamp ones, it's probably one centimeter, so perfect for me. my designer shoe collection we have these beautiful ankle boots from Stuart Weitzman they're called Stuart Weitzman Kai ankle boots and I got them in black I love these they are slightly different from the lowland ones and for me it's a total different use so I actually wear these a lot for work um, I work in academia I'm a French lecturer at a local university here in the DC area and for me, um, the lowland ones are simply a little bit too much for work um, as they are over the knee boots. People in academia are unfortunately very judgmental, um, so I don't feel like wearing these for work. But these beauties, however, are perfectly suited for that. They are very sleek, classy, classic as well. They will never go out of style. Again, they go with any type of outfit because they are black. And what I love about them is that they have the little SW over here, the little logo in gold, which is a tiny detail that I really love about them. that I have to show you are these Gucci boots. They're called Gucci Mode Ankle Boots in black and I absolutely love them. These are my everyday shoes when I'm not at work. Um, so for you know running errands for example, going to the doctors, whatever, beauty treatments, shopping, everything. I use these. They're very comfortable, very kind of um, you know classy but not too showy because I don't want something too showy for every day. Um, they feel great on your feet. They don't make your feet any larger, <laughs> which is kind of a concern for me. Um, so these are great for that. Um, they're leather boots, so I feel like they are slightly more resistant than the Stuart Weitzman one, which are in suede. So these, you know, I can pretty much jump in puddles. Not that I do that, but um, if I wanted to, I probably could. I've had them for, hmm, it's probably been at least five years. And as you can see, they are in really good condition. I mean, I wear them, I would say, about every day. And for that, I feel like they look really good. I also got them at the outlets, um, at the Gucci outlets in Paris, in, um, I think it's called La Vallée Village. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that I paid like 300 euros for these, so definitely a very good deal. And I absolutely love them. we have the Givenchy multi-strap leather boots. I actually love them but here the problem is that they are very 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 uncomfortable and like I've mentioned before all of my other boots are super comfortable. I could basically sleep in them but here well <laughs> um, I can probably walk in them for about an hour and then I have to stop because I have like blisters and you know uh, open wounds and stuff like that so really not nice. Um, I think that they are my size, they feel good, um, they feel like they are my size, but they're just very, very tight. Um, I think I have a little bit of a wide foot, and here these seem very, very tight, um, and for that reason, it's not great for me. I love the look of them, I love that they are slightly edgy, and this is definitely something that, you know, is different from the rest of the boots in my collection but it's just the fact that they're very uncomfortable for me makes it really hard to wear them. I love them and sometimes, you know, I wanna pair them with outfits and then at the last minute I change my mind because I know that I'll be uncomfortable. So I haven't worn these very much. Um, <laughs> so if you have them and you have found a solution to make them comfortable, I would love to hear from you. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you own these babies and for you they are comfortable, I would love to hear your tips and tricks on how to wear these. All 
All right, so moving on to the next category of shoes, and here we have sneakers. And for this, the first pair of sneakers that I have is another pair of Givenchy shoes, and they're called Givenchy Urban Leather Sneakers, as you can see in the white and blue. And here, it's kind of similar to the last pair of Givenchy shoes. I don't know if it's common to this brand, but they are highly uncomfortable once again. Um, so yeah, the same thing happens. I actually want to wear them, and then I tell myself, mm, no, because I know they're going to be super uncomfortable. I can probably wear them again, same about an hour, and then they start hurting really bad. I've pretty much tried everything here. I've tried with a sock, without a sock, with a very thick sock, with a very thin one. Um, I've tried with like just band-aids, uh, which you know doesn't look super classy, but I've tried and nothing feels good. So it's really unfortunate. I love the look of these. What I really like about them is that they look super classy for being sneakers. Um, so obviously, you know, I think it's the white, the fact that they're very slim and very kind of, um, here as you can see, the sole is very tiny, which, you know, is, is nice. I think that I like them a lot. I love the aesthetic. I love the vibe. I think that they're feminine for being sneakers. But then for me, um, since they are not very comfortable, I barely wear them. As you can see, they still look pretty much brand new and I've had them for, well, <laughs> do I want to admit this? Probably like four years and I've worn them less than five times. And yeah, it's because they're so uncomfortable. So honestly, I'm kind of on the verge of reselling them. I don't see the point of having, um, you know, a pair of shoes in my closet that I really don't wear. So I think that I'll be reselling these shortly. So moving on to the second and also last pair of sneakers that I have, and it's a pair of Gucci sneakers. They're called Gucci Original GG Microsoft Leather Sneakers in pink. And here I actually wear them a lot more than the other ones. Um, they feel a lot more comfortable. And then I also like the fact that they're pink. Um, as you may have been able to tell, I definitely love black. I have a lot of black shoes, like black or gray or dark brown, you know, all this. Um, but I actually don't have that much pink. And I think that it looks really nice because I actually wear a lot of black. And with that, pink looks really great. So I think it looks really girly, feminine, you know, kind of cute. Um, and also perfect for, you know, different seasons. I think this is great for spring and summer. So it's always kind of easy to wear with shorts, with even pants, you know. Even I would say that I could wear this with a skirt and it would look nice uh, or even a dress kind of depending on the type of dress. So yeah, I really do like these a lot. I actually don't wear that many sneakers. As you can see, I have only two pairs, but these are a pair of shoes that I really like. So now moving on to a different type of shoes and here we have Espadri and the first pair is Chanel Espadri in black and here these are actually my only pair of Chanel shoes so I love them however they are highly uncomfortable so similar to the Givenchy boots and the Givenchy sneakers boy do they feel uncomfortable um <laughs> These are the types of shoes, again, that I can probably only wear for an hour and then they start hurting really bad. They start hurting really bad, like here in this area. Um, and they're definitely my size. They are, I think, 39 um, is the size that they are. Wait, where is it again? Uh, yeah, it's a 39. And so for me, this is usually my size, but I don't understand how some people can walk in these all day because for me, they feel terribly uncomfortable. And the problem is, as they are um, my only pair of Chanel shoes, and Chanel is kind of like my favorite brand, um, I want to keep them and I don't want to sell them. 
So my first idea was, okay, you know what? They don't feel good. I don't wear them ever. So I'm just gonna resell them and then, you know, use the money for something that I like better for either another pair of shoes or, you know, a bag, like maybe from Chanel or something. And I always have a hard time parting with them. Every time I wanna list them on eBay, I'm like, Mm, I'm not so sure about this um, and yeah I mean I've been telling myself that I had to sell them for probably two years and I still haven't gotten around to do that um, so I don't know what to do honestly I should probably try and find another pair of Chanel shoes that fit me and that I like and that you know feel comfortable and then I think that I would be able to sell them but just like this with these being my only pair of Chanel shoes I just can't bring myself to do that So the second and last pair of espadri that I have are these Chloe espadri in black and with the little gold detail over here as you can see I think it looks so so cute. I think it's really easy to pair with pretty much anything and really unlike the Chanel ones they're very comfortable. I can walk in them all day. They really don't hurt my feet um, however the downside is that um, here they are in suede and so they are a little bit easier to damage than the Chanel ones which are in leather so that's kind of you know my main thing especially in the summer and in the spring there's just a lot of dust um, pretty much everywhere and so it's kind of easier to damage these because they are not leather that's the downside but the upside is that I actually got them at the outlets for um, $195 which was really an amazing deal I got them at the Woodbury outlets in New York, um, close to New York City. And for me, these were a tremendous deal. They're really nice. I love the feel of them. I love the look of them. I think that they look really classy for being espadri. So I would highly recommend them if you can get your hands on these. on to summer shoes we have this pair of shoes that I simply cannot categorize so I will be putting it on its own those are actually my slippers and they are Gucci Princeton Firmules I love them as I've mentioned I wear them as my slippers inside I actually never take these outside of my house uh, I mean aside from like going to the mailbox in the package room that's pretty much all I do with these um, but yeah I wear them inside and I think that they're tremendously cozy um, they feel so so great in the winter especially you know when you come home and it's been cold outside and you put your um, cold feet in these they feel amazing after like five minutes so I love the cozy feel of them but the downside is that I actually got them um, about a year ago maybe about a year and three months and as you can see they look fairly damaged already and that's you know because obviously I've been wearing them non-stop for two winters straight um, and I'm very kind of cold so I start wearing these around even I would say <laughs> probably October you know from October to um, April <laughs> so that's you know definitely um, half of the year and that's the reason why they, they look like these is because you know well I wear them a lot but they are easy to damage I think that the fur tends to kind of um, lay flat um, I think it's rabbit fur if I'm not mistaken yeah I definitely need to research that but it's definitely real fur and um, that's the reason why it just tends to lay flat once you've been wearing these a lot so I would say that's the downside of these but other than that they feel absolutely amazing and I think that if you don't wear them as often as I do they wouldn't look like that so I wouldn't be too too worried if you want to go ahead and get them So moving on to the next category of shoes, we have flats. And here, the first pair of flats that I have to show you 
are these Ferragamo black suede Varina flats. I actually got them about two or three years ago and I've been absolutely loving them. They feel very comfortable, which I was actually surprised because, you know, I tried them on in store and they felt a little iffy. And then, to be honest, since I actually found these at the outlets, I got them even though they were not very comfortable at first, which you should never do, obviously. <laughs> uh, so don't follow my example. But um, it actually turned out okay for me because they feel really comfortable now that I've broken them in a little bit. So that's always good. And then even though they are black and suede, which is kind of a classic model, I was able to find them at the outlets which is always nice because I believe that retail on these is around $700 right now. And I probably um, got them for around like 300 Canadian. I got them at the Montreal outlets. Um, and this was really nice because, you know, that was their last pair and they fit me perfectly. So I just got super lucky on these. And that's why, you know, I wanted to go ahead and get them even though they were not comfortable at first. Um, but what I like about them is obviously the look. They're very classy. They will never go out of style. I mean, these, you know, you can wear for the rest of your life. Well, if they resist. Um, and, and you would never be out of style, really. I love the gold details as well. Um, I love to wear these, for example, with my Chanel Small Classic Flap, um, which is black and then has gold hardware. So I think that it's a perfect pairing of shoes and bag. that I have in my designer shoe collection are these Bearberry navy blue flats. And here, as you will be able to see in a try-on section, they fit a little bit loose for me. Um, they are a little bit on the bigger side. And again, I got them at the outlets. And so, you know, I was kind of, quote, pressured by the price um, to get them because, you know, they are a classic model. I love the fact that they're navy blue. It's kind of a nice change for me from black, um, which I always tend to gravitate towards. So this was perfect in a sense, but they are a little bit on the looser side. Um, so I should definitely go ahead and put like a sole inside. That would be the good thing to do. So yeah, I have to go ahead and purchase that. But otherwise, I think that they are very comfortable. I love the look of them. What I like about them especially, and what's different from um, the Ferragamo flats that I just showed you, is that here they are perfectly suited for day wear. They're a lot more casual. I think, you know, the check over here is just a lot more casual than uh, the Ferragamo ones. I tend to wear the Ferragamo ones at work or, um, you know, to go to the mall or to go to like Cartier or like, um, I don't know, Chanel or something like that. And here, this is something that I would be comfortable wearing, you know, anywhere and everywhere, basically. So I love them, but they're just a little bit on the bigger side for me, unfortunately. So next up we have the Chloe Lauren flats in pink. And here what I obviously like is that they have the same name as I do. Um, they're called Lauren, which is always kind of funny. Um, and then obviously the great bonus about these is that they're super, super comfortable. I mean, everybody will tell you that um, and it's definitely not a lie. They're super comfy. I can wear in them all day. Um, you know, they are really nice. I love the feel of them. And then I also love the color. I think that they're super girly. Pink is kind of, you know, truly feminine and definitely more um, spring-like or summery, which is always nice because, you know, I have a lot of winter shoes. I have a lot of dark colored shoes that are perfect for winter and that are also suited for summer and for spring, but it's always nice to have these. So I feel like, you know, I tend to wear these with pretty much dresses, um, skirts, all these types of 
clothes, you know, um, kind of light colored, maybe a white dress or something like that would be perfect with these. And then also, you know, light colored bags, which, well, I don't have that many, um, but I'm trying to get there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I love these. I would highly recommend them. If I have to recommend maybe one only pair of flats, for me, it would be these. Um, I've already had another pair of the um, Chloe Lauren flats, which I had in black and I've worn them and worn them and worn them um, and then I took them to Goodwill and you know I'm sure that they probably even threw them away <laughs> because I don't think that they were even remotely wearable anymore but um, just to tell you that I have a lot of experience wearing these and they feel amazing so I would highly recommend them if you're looking for a new pair of flats. my last pair of flats or these Tory Burch Claire ballet flats in black and here I honestly mostly wear them for work I got them very recently so as you can see they still look really good um, and I wear them for work like I said I tend to kind of save my Ferragamo ones for bigger events uh, you know like I don't know going to the mall or something where you have somebody to impress and at work I really don't have anyone to impress and so for that reason, I tend to wear these. They're very comfortable. They're very classic and perfect for work. I think that they go with any outfit as well as they're black. Um, easy to walk in, easy to pair with anything. Works for every season as well. I mean, I can wear this, you know, pretty much year round, which is kind of nice. I don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, these are really perfect. If you're looking for, you know, work shoes, um, shoes that don't draw too much attention that or not too like brandy either, I think these are really perfect. I don't feel like wearing, um, you know, shoes from like not a brand. <laughs> um, so these are still a brand, but they're not, you know, one of the super high-end designer ones. Um, and I also feel a lot better about wearing them to work and to kind of, you know, I walk a lot at work, um, especially when I write on the board, I'm always kind of like writing a ton and then, you know, my students are like writing down a lot as well uh, for them. So yeah, I definitely walk a lot on campus. Um, there's very large distances. And so for that reason, these are perfect. So again, if you're looking for a comfortable pair of flats, that are not you know super brandy that are on the lower spectrum of the designer um, side then these are really perfect for you category of shoes that I have to show you are sandals and here the first pair that I have are these Ferragamo Felma sandals in black. They look exactly like the ballet flats but they're slightly different in that they're open here in the back um, so they're more like a hybrid between sandals and flats which is always interesting. Um, I think that I tend to wear them about for the same occasions as the ballet flats the only difference is that, you know, I obviously tend to wear these only in the spring and summer because they're open back. So I wouldn't wear this, you know, in the dead of the winter. I think this would be highly uncomfortable. Um, they are very comfortable. The only downside is that they have what I will call a slight heel, maybe a kitten heel. Um, as you can see, it's like really not much. But for me, because I'm not used to wearing heels at all whatsoever, I have never worn heels in my life. Um, it is a little bit tricky to wear them. These are not shoes that I could run in, for example. Um, and I also have to think about, you know, where to position my foot. That's always something that I'm kind of concerned about. My foot tends to fall off um, over here. So it tends to fall like towards this side which doesn't first look classy, but then second, as you can imagine, isn't so, so comfortable. So that's kind of the downside of these. Otherwise, you know, I love them. I think they're very classy, very girly as well. And despite the fact that they look very similar to the other ones, um, they're not double usage in my mind because I wear them for different seasons. I also got these at the outlets in um, Montreal, similar to the other ones. And so 
I obviously got a good deal on them so for me these are shoes that I really like but definitely should wear more often um, I should really remember that I have them that's kind of the problem that I have is that I have you know 20 pairs of designer shoes which is definitely a lot and so I honestly need to remember that I have these I haven't worn them that that much as you can see the condition is still amazing and that's because they've been sitting in my closet quite a bit so I'm gonna try and wear them a lot more this spring and summer So next up in my designer shoe collection, we have these beautiful Valentino caged flat side sandals in pink. And what I love about these is obviously the color. Again, it's very girly, feminine, summery, spring-like, so perfect. They actually feel very comfortable, which I was very surprised. I really didn't think that these types of shoes would be comfortable. Um, it's not like I can run in them either, to be very honest, but they're still very comfortable. I can walk in them all day if I'm walking, you know, in a big, big mall. I think these would be perfect for that because they're comfortable. Um, and at the same time, however, they are a little bit fragile in the sense that they are leather shoes leather sandals and um, you know obviously since they are light pink you don't want to walk in puddles with them and you also don't want to have too much like dust and that kind of stuff on them so I tend to prefer to wear these inside like inside a restaurant a mall all that all that um, versus outside um, for the concern that you know I don't think that you can remove the stains off of these as easily as if they were let's say black for example um, so yeah that's kind of the thing that I have to think about when I wear them is you know where would I go <laughs> um, with them other than that I think that they're super comfy very girly um, they pair really well with the uh, Yves Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in Nano in pink that's over there. Um, this is kind of like my perfect match. Uh, for me, it's like the combo that I tend to wear a lot in the summer. They feel great and I would highly recommend them, especially because I got them again at the outlets <laughs> um, in Woodbury by New York City. And I think I paid around $400, which is very, very reasonable given that, you know, it is a classic model and of course a beautiful color as well. to show you from my designer shoe collection or these Tory Burch Bryce sandals in black. I actually love wearing these mostly in the summer as they are open back open front so obviously they are a lot colder um, than the other ones than the Ferragamo ones that I've shown you earlier. I love to wear them in the summer they're very comfortable and very kind of low-key as well which is what I like about them you know they're from Tory Burch so not as expensive and also you know I feel a little bit less bad about like potentially damaging them so these are my go-to shoes you know when um, kind of walking on the boardwalk in the summer by the beach um, you know going to uh, parties at my friends houses kind of stuff is perfect for these these are amazing for that they have the classy feel of them um, you know with the black and then obviously the gold hardware on the logo but they are Tory Burch so you know I probably paid 120 or 150 for these at the outlets I always get all of my Tory Burch pairs at the outlets um, there's a couple of outlets here nearby um, in the DC area that have Tory Burch stores and it's always amazing prices and for that reason I wouldn't have a shop for these you know at Nordstrom or whatever because you would pay full price um, so yeah for 120 or 150 I don't exactly remember these are amazing I would highly recommend them perfect for any occasion of the summer
So next up we have a pair of Hermes shoes and those are actually my only uh, pair of Hermes shoes and they're the Hermes orange sandals in black. I got them a really really long time ago um, I actually don't remember like probably five or six years at least and I mean they feel amazing I think that they are not uncomfortable at all they're fairly comfortable for being these types of you know mules um, I can walk in them all day again probably similar to the Valentino um, pink sandals I think that they are better for wearing um, inside than outside probably here also because of the price um, they're probably my most expensive pair of sandals, um, but I really do love them. I think the problem with these is since they are my only pair, I tend to kind of want to save them for occasions. You know, I put in my head that I have to like wait until there's this amazing occasion that comes along and then obviously it never does. And so I'm always like, you know, looking at them in my closet and going like, okay, should I wear them? And then I'm going no you know you should probably wait for something bigger and then that bigger something never comes and then they just you know sit in my closet for like the entire summer that's how it goes with these um so i'm going to try and be better about that this year um otherwise i would say the few times that i have worn them they're very comfortable um they go with every type of outfit because they're black so it's very easy to pair them you know with like for example a simple white dress would be amazing with, um, I don't know, like black shorts would be good as well. Like pretty much anything that you can think of, any color would be perfect with these. Um, so yeah, they're easy to wear, easy to pair. Um, they look good. They obviously attract a lot of attention um, to your feet. So you definitely have to have, you know, a lovely pedicure. I wouldn't wear them like the last day where I'm getting my nails done, for sure not. Um, but other than that, yeah, they're perfect. I just have to remember that, you know, I have them and I have to remember to wear them. last pair of shoes that I have to show you are these Valentino rubber sandals in pink and here these are my slippers for the summer so as I've mentioned I have a pair of slippers for the winter which are the Gucci um, Princeton Firmules and here these are my slippers for the summer I think that they're very perfect they're very easy to wear very comfortable as well and they don't make your feet any warmer than they already are which is kind of nice um, I think that they are also perfect for the beach or the pool. Um, I've actually spent a week in Jamaica with my mom and I actually brought them along. They were perfect for walking around the resort. I don't think that I wore another pair of shoes for the entire time that we were there. Um, so yeah, these are my go-to for this kind of occasion. Um, as they are rubber, they're really hard to damage. I think that you have to kind of like do it on purpose, um, which is nice. I mean, you know, you can probably like put them in the ocean or in the pool and nothing would happen. Um, they're perfect for the sand as well, easy to walk and don't get damaged. So yeah, I mean, these are absolutely great. I love wearing them inside the house as well. Um, very nice. I think that they are very girly, which is something that I always appreciate, especially for the summer. Um, they have that kind of like summery feel to them. The downside, I mean, if I have to put a downside, would be that the shade of pink here is a little bit close to my um, skin complexion and for that I think that it looks a little bit weird on me. I think it would look better on darker complexion but that's my fault. I mean I should have probably gone for like black. I think it would have been better. I actually used to own the single strap model in black and then you know I wanted to have a change. I wanted to go for a different color and that's why I went for this color. Um, but it looks nice. I like pink um, and you know, I will wear them um, until they probably um, <laughs> go bad um, But I think that if I had to do it over again I would probably choose a different color if you have a very fair complexion like me You will see there is not that much contrast with my uh, feet in the try-ons So that's it for 
for this video guys thank you so much for sticking through these 20 pairs of shoes obviously I know that's very many um, and I try to appreciate every single piece in my collection and I don't think that I'm going to be buying any more shoes anytime soon I kind of have to focus on what I have I hope that you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you in my next one